amigos, una nueva edición aquí de Auto 060 en Cristina Radio Network. Y esta semana estuvimos ahí en el uh, Willow Springs Racetrack. Uh, and now we're going to switch back to English because uh, we were at, uh, as I was saying, Willow Springs Racetrack with the best of AMG. And there we talked with Tobias Mears the CEO, the new CEO, recently appointed CEO of AMG, the High Performance Division of uh, Mercedes-Benz. Well, Tobias, thank you very much uh, for having us here at uh, Willow Springs with uh, your collection of beautiful cars, and congratulations for uh, being uh, named uh, the, the new head of AMG. Like, uh, congratulations, amazing job there. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. So AMG has grown uh, Tremendously. I mean, it's a company that it's almost going to be, what, 50 years in 2017, right? So um, the, the, the broad has a, expanded from the now, from the CLA 45 AMG to this, uh, the SLS Black Series. Right. Yeah, AMG moved to new, to, to new level in the last, I think, 10 years. So that's the most important era of Mercedes AMG. Um, Our product lineup, uh, the portfolio is now close to 30 cars, um, different cars. Um, we promise that we that we have more than 30 variants of, for our cars in, in our next anniversary, which is the fifth birthday in uh, 2017. Yeah, AMG is a, is a big company in the meantime. It's more than uh, close to 1,200 people. Wow. Yeah, and, and everybody in the company is yeah, has the same spirit, driving performance. Can we go back a little bit into the history because uh, people know what AMG is, but some people don't know what the letters mean and how the company started. Yeah, AMG. So the A of AMG is Mr. Alfred. The M is Mr. Major. These both guys are the found were the founders of AMG, and uh, G is Rose Atba, uh, which is the fourth place of uh, Mr. Alfred. Yeah. And uh, so almost 50 years, 1967 when it started, right? But it was an independent company. It was like a couple of enthusiast people driving, uh, making the Mercedes-Benz a little bit better than they were from from the, from the beginning. Better and then and 40 yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then now, how 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 is the process nowadays? Because do you develop cars uh, completely on your own. Obviously, you work with the uh, 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 headquarters from Mercedes-Benz. But how's that process now? Because Uh, always people want to have more and better things with Mercedes-Benz, but how is your thinking behind when you put a, a new car on the market? Now there's, um, so AMG in the meantime is 100% order of Daimler. Uh, we are the, the performance brand of Mercedes-Benz car group. So everything what we have in our portfolio must meet our requirements in terms of, which is our brand core, driving performance. This means We need a certain performance level of from the engine side, and we need a certain level of driving dynamics because it's uh, always where, I, where we are in. In every segment, it's a competitive segment. It's very yeah. competitive, and we have a lot of competitors uh, which are in the market, which are coming up in that segment. And but development-wise, we are we have a lot of freedom, so we are responsible by ourselves. So we are responsible for every car, and as I said, it's our own car. We developed it fully at AMG. So it's Everything is done by us, and uh, we have to, to discuss with the board of Mercedes, for sure, but uh, we get some release for new products, programs out of that board, but we have to do it by ourselves. Yeah, and then when you do it by yourself, there's actually one person for every engine, which is pretty amazing nowadays with all the technology that is available, all the robots and all the, the things that, that, that a big company could do. You have like one person doing one engine. We have still our one one man one engine philosophy in production facility, yeah. And we do the four cylinder, the eight cylinder, the plus cylinder on the same way. So this is part of our philosophy, it's part of our brand. It's the inner core of our brand as well as driving performance. So this is very important for us and it gives us a certain yeah, we have a lot of feedback. Just yesterday we had a discussion about feedback from customers about that philosophy and it's perfect for us. It's customer dedication. Exactly, because people are expecting more and more in every brand. And, and when you talk on a, a high-performance brand of Mercedes-Benz, people are expecting even more. So that little, little detail, for some people might be a little detail. For you guys, it's a, one of them at the core, yep. you know, the essence of the company, right? Like putting like really attention to everything that goes into the car. Yeah, this is where AMG stands for. So it's, it's, uh, AMG is a, is, a, is a special company, it's a dedicated company to performance levels, but it's a, as well as an individuality company. So individuality is for our customers very important. And um, one man, one engine is one approach of individuality, which is very important for our markets and for our customers. That's, that's 
I think it's, it's a good expression of our, uh, a good a good picture for customer dedication. Yeah. And now a ANG, uh, I mean, from my understanding, there's no other company or other car manufacturer that has such a broad brand of, of cars because now you have the CLA, which is like a a new entry level for, for you guys, and I don't think nobody goes like to the, to the G wagon and like the, the E wagon, which is amazing. I mean, the SLS is pretty fun to drive. When when you drive the E wagon AMG, you forget how much car you have behind you when yeah. you're driving. Yeah, it's an amazing car. So there's no other other company that make do what you do, right? I think I think in in in, in comparison to performance brands, um, we have the the widest portfolio for sure. Um, there are, are, yeah, we have a wide portfolio. Yeah, I think we are standalone on the market with that portfolio. That's for sure because nobody has a G-Wagon, for example. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the, the, let's talk a little bit about the CLA because it's the newest car in in, yep. uh, in the brand. Uh, how challenging was to develop that car? Because obviously it's a car that has to come down in price, but then it has to, to offer everything that AMG stands for. Yeah, that's with every program what we set up is, is we have the same discussion. It must be always fit in our brand and must meet all our, all our requirements in terms of driving performance. Of course, we start with the engine. So it's, it's in today it's benchmark and, 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 and power dis displacement uh, output. It's benchmark and fuel efficiency. It's benchmark and 360 horsepower out of out of two liter engine. It's, I think it's a perfect engine in terms of throttle response especially at low rest as well as in high rest. And it's, it's, it's based on a four wheel, uh, front wheel driven car, you know that? And uh, the target for us was give that car the driving performance of what we, what we expect from that car. And so this uh, leads us to the development of a new front axle, different setups on the rear axle, different suspension arms on the rear axle, everything. So everything is underneath of the target driving performance. Yeah, and then I hear in the background we hear the SLS is going by, the Black Series going by, which is an amazing sound. And I, I drove it. I'm not a very good driver. I hear that you are a really good driver. But even me, like with all the technology, it's, in, it's amazing how you just press a button and then the car like almost like tells you, okay, you can push me more, you can do more with me, right? Yeah, and as I said, it is a, it's a technology statement. So we, we use a titanium exhaust system in the car. We, we reduce the weight of the of the of the Black Series. Um, we and, and we add some weight with bigger tires and bigger wheels and everything, and uh, but but we added we reduced the weight of uh, for 70 kilograms compared to the standard SLS GT, and um, it's a car. Our target was to have a race car street legal, and I think we achieved that target. Yeah, well, uh, speaking of the the competition car, it has 100 100 horsepower less because of regulations, right? Yeah. So it's pretty amazing when you can have the street car has. More power than the competition car. Well, that's happened sometimes in, in the racing series, but uh, the, the competition car, the SLS GT3, is, is, is still faster because it uses slicks. Yeah. So um, now with the CLA, the new car, what, what's in the future for uh, AMG in the next uh, few years? Because <laughs> technology is going always going. Uh, I mean, the car companies are going like 25 years ahead of us. So what? I, I, I know you can tell me much, but something. I'm not able to tell you something, but. <laughs> Uh, it will be next year is very important for us. That's what I can say to you. Um, we bring up a few products that we really, really, really right. Cool. Well, that's a perfect excuse to come back and visit you again, then. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> You're always welcome. Thank you. Bueno, ese fue Tomías Mers, el CEO de AMG, ahí en el Best of AMG eh, event en Willow Springs, en California. Y bueno, como nos decía, no nos puede decir mucho de lo que viene en el futuro, pero lo que hay en el presente de AMG realmente increíble. Les invito a que vayan a facebook.com slash auto 060 para que vean eh, toda la información, eh, sobre todo los videos que hicimos allá en Willow Springs eh, de los autos de AMG y un burnout ahí con dos uh, C, uh, C, C63 AMGs, un coupé y un sedán que realmente fabuloso, un video de tres minutos que seguramente se lo van a disfrutar tanto como nosotros lo disfrutamos allá eh, cuando estuvimos en la pista en California. Así que bueno, esta fue la prueba de manejo con uh, The Best of AMG. Y cuando regresemos en el siguiente segmento vamos a hablar con Michael Harley eh, de Autoblog.com quien nos va a compartir sus impresiones sobre este evento. Siempre es eh, interesante escuchar la opinión de los colegas. Esto es Auto 060, yo soy Javier Mota.